welcome back to my channel. My name's Tess and I make videos about stretching our money as far as I can. And today's video is a grocery shopping haul. I have picked up some things for free, some food for free from Oleo, which I'll show you. And I've been picking up some DIY supplies of greatly reduced price and I'll tell you all about that too and where I got them from. So I've been, it's been a while, but I've been over to the company shop shop today. The company shop shop? Don't know if I need to say it twice. I've been over to the company shop and I've done a grocery shop, which will do it for quite some time, certainly in terms of, as usual, certainly in terms of proteins um, and vegetables, actually. But I'll show you what I got. Um, I spent... Let's get the receipt and have a look. £85.78. I'll show you that there, but I do th I think my phone shows it backwards when I record on here. So £85.78. But as I say, that is going to last us for quite a while. So I'll show you what I've got. So I've got a pack of 12 thick pork sausages for one forty-five. Two packs of Irish chicken breast fillets. There's three in each pack. And they were £2 each. I got two. A pack of M&S diced breast fillets. Fillets, I nearly said that. Fillets for £1.50 a pack. I got two of those. For a snack for the boys, I got some mini chicken satay skewers. They were £1.25. There's quite a few in there. That's great. Got two packs of Kita salmon fillet, Phillips, <laughs> fillets. They were two pounds each. There's two fillets in each pack, so four pound for a meal for the four of us, which is good for salmon. Um, I've got two packs of this, these um, organic chicken drumsticks, for one pound fifty a pack. To be honest, there's not loads of meat on, but it's about as much as I would pay really. But they are organic and I will be able to use the bones to make some chicken stock, which is great. I've got some cooked slow roast Scottish salmon fillets with, with piri piri seasoning. They were £2 each. Again, that will do as one meal. I've got some pork mince for £1.25. Two of these chicken and chibitzo pasta meals which will do for the boys when they're hungry and it's not a meal time. <laughs> they were £1.50 each. I picked up four of these chicken Kievs. There are two in each pack so that's two meals worth and each pack was 75p. So that's £1.50 for one meal and £1.50 for the other. And then I bought some of these cheese and bacon Kievs, which were £1.50 per pack. And again, I got four of those, so that's one meal and another meal. I got a pack of 12 banana chocolate flakes, uh, Muller Corners. Um, these are good till the 10th of June. Today is the 30th of May. And they were £2.30 for the pack. And underneath there we've got some Muller Vitality Healthy Balance Smooth Yogurts, Peach and Strawberry. And that, that's a pack of 12 pots for £2.40. Got this pack of Skinless Breast Fillets Cooked. Um, they said £1.50 but they came up at 75p because they've got to be used by tomorrow. Which is fine, I'll freeze them. And I've got three packs of this sliced cooked chicken breast for £1.75 a pack. Three packs there. I like to get these because um, I don't. I try to eat low carb, or do eat low carb. And Sam uses this pre sliced, pre cooked chicken to make me a pizza base. So I have a pizza where the chicken breast forms the base and then the toppings go on top of that. Sometimes I buy a chicken and slice it myself and cook it and slice it myself and sometimes I get these packs in. At 175 this is really cheap. I'm not using any electricity or gas to cook it 
and I can just bung them in the freezer and he just takes the pack out and uses it on the day and they are about half the price of buying them ordinarily at the ordinary price so that's a really good deal and he makes pizza about once a week so I've got three of those and I've got this pack which is not sliced um, but I will use it in the same way I think so I've got eight pints altogether, four pints in this bottle and four pints in that bottle of semi-skimmed creamy top organic milk and they were 95 pence each. The use by date is the 1st of June um, but I will freeze one and we'll use the other one in the meantime. I have a tub of double cream which was 50 pence, some sour cream which was 65 pence. Philadelphia light, that's a bigger tub. Uh, how much is there? How many grams is this? I cannot see. Three hundred and forty gram tub, and that was one seventy. And then I got two of these full fat soft cheese tubs, which are two hundred grams each, and they were fifty p each. We eat lots of cream cheese. So. Um, I got this organic chicken liver and port pate from Dalesford Organic Farm for £1.25. I like some pate, it's great for me on low carb. Sam likes it as well. I have some low carb crackers I can put it on. And I thought, well, for £1.25, I'll have a lovely jar afterwards as well. <laughs> so we have that. Um, there will be a 1st of June is the use by date. Did I show you that? But that will be fine. That will be eaten by then. got two vanilla chocolate balls. Um, Muller Corners for 63p. We do have the, all the banana um, and chocolate flakes ones. But that's a good price. And um, I wanted the boys to have a bit of variety. Next, good till the 11th of June. Um, this kind of meat platter goes in about five seconds flat in this house. <laughs> so I'm happy to pay a pound for it. Um, it's Marks and Spencer's Spanish Cured Meat Selection. It's good until the 6th of July, but it's not going to last that long, I can assure you. <laughs> and that's a combination of serrano ham, chorizo and dry cured pork loin. Um, that may well be gone by bedtime. <laughs> and then I've got two Iceland takeaway pizzas, double pepperoni, and they were £1.50 each. So I'm going to show you my sugar free splurge before I show you the rest. So this was a pack of 12 bottles of Pepsi Max raspberry for seven pounds which is I also bought myself some of this chocolate which I don't eat chocolate these days really very very occasionally I get some sugar free but I don't usually find it very often and this is um, some little chocolate bars they are one percent sugar they have 20 carbs per bar but 19 of them are sugar alcohols so that means that just one, there's just one gram of carbs, just over one gram of carbs per bar. There's a chocolate orange and a mint. And I have to admit, I ate a whole of the bar of these, <laughs> this or chocolate orange one, 55 grams, 342 calories in the car. Because I was so delighted to find something that uh, is chocolatey that I can eat. So I put... Uh, Three, of, four of the chocolate orange ones. One is absent without leave, and two of the mint chocolate ones, which I'll put in the cupboard and try to forget I've got them, so they will last a while. <laughs> and I bought some of my usual. Um, it's a different brand, but I always try and buy some sugar-free sweets, so that when I've got that urge to have something sweet, I can. And these were 50p a pack. They were 75p a pack, but two for a pound. So I've got two strawberry, two caramel. Uh, the chocolate bars I didn't mention were £1.50 for two, so £3 for four. And that's my sugar-free splurge on myself. 
Um, I bought some washing powder, Purcell. I never buy brands usually, but we need some washing powder, and this was reduced to three pounds sixty-five. Um, it says it does twenty-three washes, but it will do many, many more for us because we don't use very much per wash. Um, I bought some dynamite um, chili flavored marmite. I love marmite and I love chilli so I'm a happy bunny. That was £2.40. And two tins of spaghetti in tomato sauce for the boys to grab when they want something to eat. And I'm not around and they were 40 pence each. I bought two packs of recycled toilet tissue for a pound a pack. A pack of Napolina farfalle pasta for 50p. Which isn't super cheap, but because everything else is really cheap and we needed some pasta, I just bought it there. Because um, it's easier than going to two different shops. Hobnob, bit oaty bars for something sweet for the boys. These are £1.60 for 300 gram pack. Rather marvellously, yeah, we've got this huge, there's the size of it compared to my hand, pack of blueberries for a pound so I'll make some blueberry muffins and then the rest will go in the fridge to eat with the yogurts that we've got. Um, I've got some cherry tomatoes for 50p, a golden butternut squash for 50p, it looks so nice, I like the colour of it, um, so I'm looking forward to trying that. I bought some onions for 50p, how many I've got here uh, a kilo of onions for 50p. Two packs of lightly salted tortilla chips, they were 20 pence each. 20p for a pack of baking potatoes. 50p for a massive red pepper. Um, huge. 50p for two organic avocados and then these two packs of broccoli which don't look great they are going to be used today and they were 10 pence each so I'm going to as soon as I've finished recording this I'm going to get them out of the cellophane give them a wash cut off any bits that are not very appetizing and then I'm going to cook those along with some cauliflower that I've got that I'll show you in a minute and make a cauliflower and broccoli cheese to go along with our tea. And these things were free. So I've got a pack of three sweet potatoes, four organic kiwi fruit, two yellow peppers and two courgettes. One of them has snapped in half but that does not bother me. So they were all free. So there we go, that is my company shop shopping haul and now I'll show you what we got from Olio. So from Olio today I got for free some vegetable stock, a jar of onion and garlic pasta sauce, a large extra large cauliflower which is what I'll use with the broccoli to make a cauliflower and broccoli cheese. Again it doesn't look amazing but I'll just be able to cut the surface off. The rest will be fine. I'll cook it in the pressure cooker and then make a nice cheese sauce to put over it and pop it under the grill. A pack of pasta which is good until January 2025. A tin of sweet corn, three bananas, we don't mind eating them like that or we'll make a banana loaf with them. And an um, M&S baguette. So I believe we're having, well the boys and Sam are having pasta with sweet corn, this pasta sauce and some of the diced chicken I bought at the company shop for tea tonight with some of this baguette. And I'm having cauliflower and broccoli cheese. Um, they may wish to have some cauliflower and broccoli cheese as well. They are very welcome to have some. 
but that is the plan for tea tonight. For those of you that don't know, Olio is an app in the UK. I don't know if it's in other countries actually, I'd be interested to know. Um, where food that needs to be passed on and used as soon as possible is offered for free. You just need to go and collect, ask for it and then go and collect it. So this is a haul of a different kind. Over in Bradford where the company shop is, there's also a store called Bradford Community Repaint. And they um, take in, they're a charity that takes in donated paints, partially used or full tins, and sells it on a much reduced cost to members of the public. Anybody can go, they have all sorts of paints, even chalkboard paints and garden fence paints, all sorts of things. And I went along, we've got quite a lot of jobs that we need to do in the house. And um, so I had a list in my mind of all the jobs we needed to do and was determined not to just buy paint because I was excited and it was cheap, but only to buy things that we actually need. And um, the first thing that I started with was some anti-mold paint and uh, anti um or like a barrier paint that stops stains coming through. We've had a leak in our ceiling in the bedroom and a leak in the kitchen from the bathroom, which is above the kitchen, some time ago. And um, they've both left some stains. So I've got some anti-mould paint to put on first. That's a, no, the stain stop, I think, goes on first and then the anti-mould on top. I'm not sure which way around to do it actually. I'll have to check the tins. Um, but they were super cheap. I want you to ignore the prices on the lids of the tins because that's not what I paid. Um, they generally pay, charge £1.50 per litre of paint on the whole. So this is a picture of the leak in the kitchen ceiling that's come from the bathroom. So there we go, we've got some six year anti-mould paint for ceilings and walls, that's white, matte, and then that's it, the stain block, which is a primer and undercoat. So I put the stain block on first. Uh, it says 50p, but I paid more than that, so I don't know if it's 50p per certain amount. Or... Um, the stain block was actually free um, because it's quite an old tin. Um, she opened and checked all of the tins before I paid for them and um, this one was old and there's another tin of paint that was old and had a bit of an odour to it so she's given me that one for free but I've used paint in the past that's been a little bit older and has an odour to it in fact the green that we've I've painted in the bedroom is like that and once it's painted and dried it the order goes. So you may know that I'm aiming this summer to build a new log store in the garden and fill it as cheaply as I possibly can. So I picked up a couple of tins of outdoor paint. There are some other things in the garden that could do with painting as well. Um, I picked up this Focus Garden Colours paint for garden wood, masonry and terracotta pots and that's in Cheshire Green and what they seem to do in this store is put a little bit of the paint on the outside of the tin so that you can see exactly what the colour is so that's that green and then I bought some Cuprinol Pebble Trail which I thought was also quite a nice colour so I'll be using those in the garden on the log stores and on one or two of the jobs that need painting. So again, ignore the prices on the lids. I paid a little bit more than that. So I don't know really how they worked it out, but most of the paints were £1.50 per litre and these tins are two and a half litres each. So there should have been like 3.75 a tin, I think. And that might be what I paid. Maybe a little bit less for the Cuprinol one because it wasn't quite full. But it's such a great deal. And 
they're so well stocked so i would say if you're in the west yorkshire area and you're needing to buy some paint and you're on a tight budget it's definitely worth giving them a visit so i also picked up some two tins of undercoat for woodwork so we most of the woodwork in the house is painted white not the doors but all the architraves and um, skirting boards that kind of thing are painted white so and we always need some undercoat and top coat to touch those up so i've got two tins of undercoat and two tins of top coat um, a satin wood and a mat for the top coat and now working on the £1.50 per litre rule I think these should have cost me £1.12 I think so ignore the £1.5 on the lid I don't know what that is there is all sorts of calculations going on but whichever way you look at it that's a great price um, and I'm super pleased and we'll definitely use it while I was there I also picked up two new paintbrushes one for 3.29 and one for one hmm, what was that what did that say I've got it written down somewhere 148 I think the other one was and finally I picked up some Faro and Ball paint I've got this off-white number three which is an estate eggshell um, I have a shoe cupboard in the hallway um, which needs a repaint so I'll be using that to give it a new coat of paint um, estate eggshell is great for painting wooden furniture so that will do a really good job on that um, it says 250 on the top again I don't know if that's 250 per litre <laughs> I think it might be and then this one this is this fire and ball paint is stony ground and um, we the paint that I painted the hallway in on a, in a recent video was a dupe of stony ground and we quite like the idea of doing the landing upstairs in the same colour um, so I was really happy to find this it's a modern emulsion so the one I used downstairs was an estate emulsion which is very matte the modern emulsion has a slight sheen to it but that is not an issue for me we really like the colour and this was a brand new tin donated by Farrow and Ball for them to sell to raise money for the charity and then finally um, I haven't shared with you yet one of my many projects that I want to do this year is to um, tidy up and paint the inside of our shed we have a brick built shed behind the house um, which was built originally when the house was built would have had an outside toilet in it I think looking at it um, but that's been removed and we store all sorts of things in it it's where we keep the freezers and whatnot um, but it really needs a clean a tidy up and a paint and I was chuffed to find this floor paint in um, the shop it's a big tin but it's only about halfway full I think um, she did show me it so there'll be about two and a half litres in there which will be plenty it's not a massive shed it's not like a garage or anything um, she did show me it because um, it has this is the one that's got the slight odour to it um, and so she just checked that I still wanted it and because it had a slight odour she gave it to me for free which is amazing and I think we're going to have the poshest shed in our town with a pharaoh and ball floor <laughs> in there um, so we'll see how that turns out but I can't recommend it highly enough really it was a great store they had a lot of stock and they were so helpful um, she showed me around showed me all of the um, different types of paint she did explain the pricing system to me but um, yeah I didn't, obviously didn't take it in because <laughs> oh yeah I'm not sure how the prices on the top really relate to the price that I paid 
but I was absolutely delighted that all of that paint, almost all of those tins are full. Um, so all of that paint and the two paint brushes cost me £34.50, which is amazing. Um, and they were super helpful. I'll definitely go back again, but I won't need to go back for a long time because this paint should do nearly every job that needs to be done in the house. So if I do go back at some point, it, uh, maybe I might need some more um, undercoat and top coat for the for woodwork. But um, this is really going to see us for a long time. We already have some tins of paint in the shed that are left over from other jobs that we've done or that I've specifically got a tin of paint, for example, from Facebook for free to do the doors on the shed. Um, so I can't see that we'll need very much um, for quite a long time. But as I say, if you need anything to do some DIY, if you need some paint, it's definitely worth getting along to Bradford Community Repaint to pick up some other paint and stop it going into landfill. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you all really soon. Bye for now.